exclusive live radar tracking storms so you'll know first. This is WVTM 13 weather. Certainly more clouds around today than yesterday, but overall pretty nice day to spend some time outdoors this afternoon on Easter Sunday. Temperature 78 degrees, so pretty warm. You can see some of those clouds overhead regions field downtown Birmingham. Pretty uniform temperatures on our map across central Alabama. Most spots in the middle to upper 70s, a location or two right around 80 earlier this afternoon for a high temperature and those temperatures. Well, that's what you can expect again for tomorrow. Add another degree or two to them. It's going to be a very warm, mild night. Temperatures only getting down into the low 60s, maybe a couple of spots in the upper 50s to begin our Monday morning. Mainly cloudy skies, some peaks of sunshine tomorrow afternoon turning breezier and high temperatures climbing up into the lower 80s. You can see the increasing clouds across our state and back off to our west as well. It's in advance of our next storm system. That's a front. It's going to move our way for Tuesday. Told you about the impact weather in the forecast for Tuesday at the top of the show. Mainly we're talking later Tuesday afternoon and especially into Tuesday evening and the early parts of Tuesday night. So by six Tuesday, you can see this broken line of scattered thunderstorms moving in from the northwest. We'll watch things as a couple of these storms could become strong, maybe borderline severe. The main threats we'll be monitoring are the potential for some hail up to quarter size and strong wind gusts 50 to 60 miles an hour. Storms that are near Birmingham around 8, 9, 10 o'clock Tuesday evening into Tuesday night. Notice how quickly though things move out of here through the overnight hours Tuesday night into the pre dawn timeframe of early Wednesday and then Wednesday afternoon clearing conditions and turning cooler. Northern half of our area under a slight risk for severe weather. That's a two on our scale of one to five. The rest of us under the marginal level one risk zone again. Damaging winds to 60 miles an hour, quarter sized hill. Generally, we're talking about rainfall amounts under an inch. It's going to be a quick moving system, and not everyone seeing the continuous rain. Again, more scattered storm coverage uh, as the cold front moves through. So, between half an inch to an inch, I think that's the general rule of thumb. Of course, some spots higher, some spots lower. That's just the way things play out typically with these storm systems. Very warm to begin the week ahead of the front 82 the high both Monday and Tuesday. Look what happens though Wednesday and Thursday high temperatures only in the lower to mid 60s. In fact, by the time we get all the way to Friday morning, we're looking at low temperatures down into the 30s and likely a good deal of frost in the forecast. So beyond the cold front second half of the week shaping up to be well below average for early April. All right, tomorrow breezy warm 82. You see the impact weather for Tuesday as those storms arrive later in the day, turning much cooler Wednesday breezy as well. Lows down into the 30s, both Thursday, Friday morning, still chilly Saturday morning, but starting to warm up Saturday afternoon, especially into next Sunday.